Hi guys, so for today's video, I'm doing a decluttering series, but I'm going to be doing my lippies. I have different lippies in different spots. I have so many. I had done a lip declutter on my own time a few months ago. I had gotten rid of, I think, between 10 to 20, but I still have too much lippies. I love lippies, man. So we're going to go through all the lippies from lipsticks, lip gloss, liquid lipsticks, lip liners, lip balm. We're going to go through all that. I'm going to show you the different spots I have them. Hopefully I can show you guys because I've been doing this in all my decluttering videos so far. I've been showing you guys how it looks like the stuff I'm decluttering. I show you guys how it looks before and after I'm done decluttering, I show you guys how I organize it. So that's something I like doing, I guess. I love organizing and decluttering is very inspirational like it just makes you feel good about yourself but i have this drawer right here on the left this is very random i have my face palettes in here so i just put my hair tools in here as uh, salty so i love getting the room back once i declutter but i have some lippies for more cosmetics they're like lips balm sticks we're gonna go through them but i want this in a giveaway so i don't think i'm gonna get rid of those but then I have the drawer above, I have it very randomly. I'm going to do the clutter on my foundations, I think, after this. But I have some lippies here, overflowing. A lot of good ones here. And then I have, um, on the other side, I have a lip organizer. I believe it's this one. Yeah. So the lip organizer, I got it from Vanity Collections. It's a Australian brand. It's to fit into my IKEA drawer. But I had done a declutter a few months ago, like I mentioned. I declutter maybe between 10 to 20 I don't remember I didn't count it but I got rid of them completely because they were just cheap quality like they're they just weren't good but I still have a lot so I need to go through all this but I also have another area and then I have this organizer right here on my desk I had to rearrange because I added a computer here but yeah so my little setup is a little different but I have some lippies here <laughs> and then I have some random lippies here and then uh, lip pencils. I decluttered some lip pencils uh, a few months ago too. Like all the lippies I decluttered a few months ago. But I still have a lot now. I think I even got more since then. And then these are my lip balms. So we're going to go through all of this. And I'm going to just put them lay flat on my table. So we can go through it very easily. The first half of the lippies through my collection. I kind of organize them by the brand. So it could be easier for me to declutter. Alright, so first up, I'm going to talk about my Tower 28 lip glosses, lip jellies. I love them so much. They're my, one of my most favorite lip gloss formula. So this one, I kind of customized this shade. I just mix uh, different lippies in it, like liquid lipsticks. But so this used to be a clear one, but I'll still keep it. It just gives a little wash of color from what I customized. But I love these lippies so much. They're so, like, very nutty taste, like almondy taste and just the shine they give and they are so comfortable to wear so my favorite one of my favorite lip gloss formula i'm going to keep these so right here's another favorite lip gloss formula there is my high-end favorite i guess so this, these are from pat mcgrath so i only have four different shades i know they look all kind of similar and they kind of leave this little like if i don't use it for a while they look like this like almost like old but they're still good so i really love the formula they're really comfortable they're pretty to put on i love the different applicator the dip lap kit makes it super easy to put on. They're just really. I got them dirty in the. I got them dirty in a sale. So one of them I bought through an Ipsy sale in the three. I bought them in the trail in a sale. But I'm gonna keep these because I really love the formula. Like it gives, it gives me like a luxury feeling. So I have another Tower Twenty Eight lip gloss. This is like was in my makeup bag. It's the shade Sesame. Oh, it's like a berry shade. I'm gonna keep this for sure. Right here are some lippies I wanted to clutter. This from Nude Sticks is the Lip Glaze. It's just a little bit sticky. I like the color of it, but I just don't like the formula. It's like nude away. This uh, Tralucia Beauty. It's like a tinted lip oil. Almost reminds me of like the Rare Beauty. Well, it's not lip oil. It's like a tinted lip balm. It's in the shade Daring. It's a nice, it's a nice shade, but I don't think I'm gonna use it a lot. It's comfortable to wear. This one, I mainly. I don't like the formula as much, and the plus the packaging is really bulky. So this is from Ace Beauté. I always wanted one of these, but I don't like the formula. It just transfers. It's like a soft matte velvety finish, and it transfers. I just don't like 
I just don't like the formula. It's comfortable. It's a little bit comfortable, but also a little bit drying. So I'm just going to declutter these three. I'm also going to declutter this one. It's by Illuminati. I got this through a subscription box. I don't think it's good. So I'm going to declutter this as well. So right here are some Fenty heat glosses. So these are supposed to be a little bit plumping. They do plump a little bit. Like they make your like you can feel the heat on these. Like for me, I guess my lips are sensitive and I feel it. I mean, I'm going to still keep them. It's not my favorite like gloss formula plus the taste of it it kind of gets to me but i'm just gonna keep it for now because it's Fenty beauty i want to see if i use them a little bit more i got this for sale and i could see why it's by essence it's a stay eight hour matte formula i guess i don't like liquid lipsticks that much because i don't have a lot anymore in my collection i do have some but i have more glosses and lipsticks and anything especially lip glosses but this one it's so drying so i highly 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 don't recommend this like don't get this i got this for sale so no wonder but i do love these from ansys these are the extreme shine on volume lip glosses these i didn't get them on sale but oh my gosh essence is a more affordable drugstore brand and these are so great they're comfortable to wear and they're like shimmery glosses they're so pretty they're not really plumping i don't think they're plumping at all but they're so pretty i have put these in my purse and also to travel too i've just gotten these like i think a month ago so i'm gonna keep these okay so i found two other ones that i wanted to clutter so this one the form is not bad it's from threadlisted beauty it's a lip gloss in a shade um dazzling nothing's wrong with this formula it's just that i don't like bulky packaging when it comes to lip beads because it takes so much room but i'm just gonna declutter this one and this one i don't like the formula of this one i got this through influencer it's like my first and only item i got through influencer <laughs> but it's from urban decay and this is like their it's like a liquid lipstick it's in the shade taxum it's like one of their new lippies but i don't like the formula of this one it transfers and it it's just not so it's not comfortable enough for me so i like lippies that are comfortable for me and the color is pretty but i just don't enjoy the formula so i'm going to declutter these two i just want to show you guys these because this is my favorite satin look the lipstick formula it's from early cosmetics let me just put these down real quick they just have unique shades on early cosmetics their old name used to be alien cosmetics but they rebranded so i got this for sale like a while back but yes the form is so comfortable and they last pretty long too and i love the packaging it's so unique it almost reminds me like a alien <laughs> like an alien head or something like they have rainbow stars on them i don't know it, i guess that's why it says alien cosmetics before but yeah i loved her brand so much i loved her lippies i need to try their lip gloss formula but i'm gonna keep these i have uh, about I have 11 different shades they do like super unique shades too i hope they make more i hope they make like blue shades as well and more purple shades and more green shades but i love the formula so i'm going to keep these so these are from more cosmetics they're the lip plush creams so these are comfortable to wear but they don't last that long but i'm going to keep them the, because i got these a few months ago I do enjoy the formula, but it's just that it doesn't last that long and it does transfer, but they are comfortable to wear. So it's like one of my favorite poly lip cream formulas. And they're like nice wearable shades. I've used them quite a bit too. So I got these Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. I got two of the same shades. The reason why, I got one through a Tarte box and the other one through a subscription box, but I was going to save one of them for a giveaway, but my little one he scratched one of the tops of this one like or one of these he scratched the top so i had to keep both i can't give that away but <laughs> i think the form was fine yeah i think the form was fine oh see this is the one he poked i think it's fine but i need to use some more so i'm not sure if i should keep these um i have two different shades so i gotta use them so i think i will keep them for now now i want to talk about these these are from nsa rain cosmetics so these lip glosses are actually from a collab from britney huffman's collection and you know i don't really like the formula i have other glosses i don't think i have them anymore because i think i declutter them last time i did it on my own time because they were like cbd lip glosses and i hated the formula so these i don't like the formula as well they're not comfortable to me the finishes you know i was going to keep these because of the finishes of the different like the different reflex like they're unique in my collection but i don't want to keep them just for that i mean i was going to but 
I just want to keep stuff that I actually really like enjoy. So I think I'm going to just declutter these. So I got five Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oils. They're not really like hydrating at all. And I invested in these because they're like, I think $20 each. I bought these for like 100 So yeah, I invested in these and I don't love the formula. I like the color of it. I think... I don't know what to do. So I think I'm just going to keep these, honestly, because I did invest in these. I don't want to get rid of them. So I'm just going to keep them for now. But I will say this. I won't recommend these to anyone. I mean, they're fine if you just want to, like, a hint of color or also leave on tint. But I don't think they're that great. So these two, these are, like, a lip pencil stick formula. They're from NARS Cosmetic, and they're, like, one of my favorites. The This one, I think it was a full size. But if I've already gone down because it's like my favorite shade. It's the shade Good Times. It's like, I love using it. It has all over the lips or has a lip liner. Very comfortable, very velvety, very smooth. Oh, very, I love this formula. And this one, this is in the shade, this is a shade Dulce Vita. I'm going to keep this. I don't use this shade often, but this shade is a mini. I just love the formula, so I'm just going to keep this. Like, oh, they're one of my favorites. So these are from Fenty Beauties, and they look kind of old because you have to shake them up. But you know me, I don't really like bulky packaging. Like, I like the packaging, but I don't like them for storing. I think the formula is fine. They're like, uh, like a liquid lipstick formula. I think almost like matte. I'm not really into matte formula, but I'm just going to declutter these. Nothing's wrong with the formula. I just don't like the bulky packaging, so yeah. Got a KVD lip gloss. It's in the shade Lolita Flora. So this one's really comfortable wear, but it's not really long lasting. That's the only thing about it, but I like how comfortable it is, so, so I'm going to keep this one, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got some Buxom glosses. I got these during, like, an Ulta sale, one of their sales. So the formula is really outdated with these, but I'm just going to keep them because I've always wanted them. They're supposed to be plumping, but I don't think they're plumping. They just make your lips look a little juicy. So I got, like, a purplish shade and a pinkish shade. This is a white Russian, and the other shade's French Martini. So, they're not my favorite, but I'm just going to keep them because I've always wanted these. I got this Lunar Beauty Lip Gloss, and you can probably tell it's almost done. So, I'm very, very excited. This is in the shade Dreamy. Yeah, shade Dreamy. Dreamy. I love his formula so, so, so much. It's very comfortable. Oh, just love the finish. So, this is my only Lunar Beauty Lip Gloss, so I need to get more from him. But I also have two other lip oils. I'll show you guys later. Maybe, yeah, I'll show you guys later when I get to the lip balm stuff. But, yeah, I really love it. I'm just going to continue to finish this up, and it's going to be empty very, very soon. I got these very unique lip glosses. They're like multi-chrome glosses from Electrum Cosmetics. So she has different packaging. She hands make them. She orders the packaging, gets them personalized, and then she makes the formula by hand. So these are very, very comfortable to wear. So the scent or the flavor, it's a little bit strong, like vanilla vanilla but the finish of it they're super super unique in my collection they're multi-chrome glosses so uh you could just wear them alone or put it on top of like a different color like a lipstick like especially black or like a solid color and it'll just change up the look to the glosses as well but if you just wear them alone then you just get a lot of like sparkles and kind of a little bit shifty but you could notice a chef more on top of like a solid color base. So I'm just going to keep these because I love the formula so much and they're very unique in my collection. So now I got some Terra Moon Cosmetics lip glosses. So these are a little bit on the thick side and they're unique shades in my collection. I mean this one maybe not as much. It's like a, it's like a dark maroon shade and this one's like a super black plummy shade. So this is super unique. So I'm going to keep it for the colors, especially this one too. But... I, I think they're comfortable to wear. They're just a little bit thick. So I'm just going to keep these because of the colors. Right here are my favorite, one of my top favorite lip glosses. Probably my number one favorite, maybe. But I have another one. I think the other one, I, it was in my purse, but I think I probably left it in the car. It was like a light, actually it was like a brownish one. So I hope it's in the car because it's not in my purse. And I always take these on my purse or whenever I go out. I don't go out often, but I always take these. This one I don't use a lot. I do use it, but this one and the brown shade, oh, so, so good. They're comfortable. They're vanilla taste as well, but they're so good. So this brand is from Kathleen Lights, and I love her so much. And she loves the Pamela Grant lip gloss formula. She raved about it back then, 
And I think because of that, she kind of made a similar formula to Pat McGrath. I think these are better than Pat McGrath, honestly. And plus, they're affordable. She doesn't have any more shades bes besides the three. I don't have the other one right here. But, yeah, those are the only shades you have. But I hope she makes more because I really, really love the formula. I don't hear enough people. Like, I don't hear any people talking about these. They're, like, really good. They're comfortable to wear. And they kind of last pretty long, too, as lip glosses. So these are Tarte lip glosses. These are really nice lip glosses. And I just have so many glosses. I don't think I need to keep them. They're supposed to be plumping too. They're comfortable to wear. They're nice. But I don't think I need them. I love the packaging though. So I think I'm just going to declutter these. I also have Persona lip glosses. I think these, this one was fun too. I, I adore the brand. But I don't use these enough. I, oh my gosh. What is that? Oh no. It's just a little stain. <laughs> yeah, it just got dirty. I thought it was like mold. I'm like, what? Let me see right here. I'm not sure. I think it is getting mold. So yeah, I'm just going to declutter these in that case. <laughs> I guess um, they're getting old. So this is pretty new in my collection. These are, this is it a buy about by Halsey's brand. They're like, uh, it's a lip cutter butter. These are very like, it's more squishier than the Tarte formula. Like it just melts. But the, ugh, it's so damn pigmented though. I want to get more shade. So this one kind of tastes like, almost like shampoo. I need to try it again, but it's a really strong taste. It's not like a yummy taste. It's like a strong perfumey or shampoo kind of taste. Ugh. Like, I mean, it's it's doable on my lips, but I love the finish of it. I think I'm going to pick up more, but I just got to mention about the taste. The taste is just, it's really weird with this one. So here's another lipstick thing it's by Casual Beauty. I don't think the form is bad or anything, but I don't really use this one. And I think it's going to expire soon. Well, on the end of this year, but yeah, it's like a cute formula, cute little hard packaging. Uh, but I need to start decluttering the ones I don't really love as much. So I'm just gonna declutter this. So I got some Rare Beauty Glossy Lip Balm. So this formula I really, really love. Like, they're still in my collection for that reason because I still love them. So they're really comfortable wear. They give a glossy look to your lips. So I got a mini one and two full size. I feel like I have another one somewhere. But yeah, I'm going to keep this. I really love the formula to this one. So this formula I do recommend for a gloss formula. These are from M Cosmetics. The packaging is cute. Little, it's getting faded a little bit. So the formula to these, yeah, the, the packaging is fades a lot. So all of the, the logo just disappeared. But I think the formula on these are fine. They're comfortable to wear, but they are not long lasting. I have to reapply these. The shade I really love is the shade Temptress. Let's see, where's Temptress? Oh, Temptress is like a beautiful reddish vampire shade, like a wearable vampire shade. So I'll show you guys right now. This is like my favorite shade. Like, isn't that beautiful? It kind of smooths out the lines too, but the only thing, it's not long lasting. Yeah, I think this is comfortable to wear. Like, not completely comfortable. Like, you can still feel something on your lips. I'm just going to keep them. I just want to finish these up. But I don't think I'm going to repurchase this formula again. So let me show you some lippies I wanted to declare. So this is by Kismet. This is, I just got it last month through subscription box. But uh, this is very like opaque. Actually, it could build up to like opaque color. But you have to build it up. So it's kind of like sheer in a way. So it's sheer. It's not like pigmented enough. That's what I'm saying. But it's opaque as in as you build it up. Oh, I hope that makes sense. But I don't like the formula of that. Like, plus the color too. I don't like the color. This one's from POYT. I know I didn't clean this up, but I didn't get to use this that much. It's like a dual item. So this, I just don't like the formula of it. Ugh. Yeah, I just don't like the formula of it. I got this through a, I got this through a subscription box as well. I'm just gonna declutter this. So here's some lipsticks by Mary Beauty. I really enjoy the formula. So this one's one of my favorite lipstick formula. The packaging's so unique. I got the shade Cabo Fashion and Slip. I think Slip is my, my most used shade. This one's a little broken. <laughs> I guess I went too hard. So it's not, it's really beat up. Like, I have to like press it down. But it's a cool toned brown shade. And uh, I just love the finish it gives. Let me see if I can show you guys a swatch without ruining it. It's pretty pigmented. You have to build it up, but it's like balmy. It's like a balmy lipstick, but it still shows color to your lips. So this is my most used shade. 
I still want to get one more shade. It's been a while since I bought these, but I still want to get the tiger shade. I've always wanted the tiger shade, but yeah. These are definitely staying in my collection. These are from Mora Cosmetics, so I have a bunch more. I think these are the only two I've opened, but they're like lip balm sticks. I really enjoy the formula. So they're really comfortable to wear. I have the shade Cherry Blossom and Modern. So I've used this a few times already. So I just started using the, these this month, actually, and I got them like maybe two months ago. So look at that. They're really natural. They're very comfortable to wear. It's like a lip balm lipstick. I love them. And I have other ones. I'll show you guys right now. I also found this shade in the bag. So I want some in the giveaway from Moira Cosmetics. So I'm planning to keep all of them. I think I'm going to give some away. But for now, I'm just going to keep them in boxes. So this one I found in there that I've opened. So Hibiscus. It's like a reddish shade. So let me just swatch this real quick. Yeah, really enjoy the formula. So yeah, I'm going to keep them. I know that's a lot, but I think I'm going to give some away. I just have to decide which colors I want to keep. Okay, so right here's some meanies. So this is a pomegranate lipstick. My only pomegranate lipstick. This one is shade Divine Rose. Oh, I got a little pulp. I think from, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's me or my youngest, but I love, I love the formula to these. I need to finish this up, man. So I'm going to keep this because it's my only Pat McGrath lipsticks. I think I have this shade in the full size like I showed you guys earlier, but I'm not sure. So this is a... This is a Gloss Bomb 50 Glow. So I feel like I do have this shade in the full size like I showed you guys earlier. But yeah, I'm just going to finish it up. Keep it. Maybe I can use it for travel. This one's a Rare Beauty. It's a mini. It's a Souffle. The Souffle formula. It's a shade Confident. So... I really enjoy the formula with this one as well. Really comfortable to wear. So I think when it comes to like the souffle or the creamy lip creams, they don't last that long. They feel comfortable and they look cloudy, but they don't last that long. So this is just a nice pinky shade. So this is the only one I have in this formula. So I'm going to keep this one. I also have this Rare Beauty lip balm stick. It's in a shade Thankful. It's like a brownish shade. Uh, the, the taste of these are it's a little bit different. I don't like the taste of it. But the colors, you know, the color's pretty. I think I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. This I consider this as like a lip balm. I'm going to put this in a maybe pile till I get to the lip balms. Because I want to try to clutter more lip balms. So right here are more on early cosmetics. These are limited edition shades that are from the Halloween box. So I got a purple shade, a green shade, and a black shade. So of course I'm going to keep them. I don't have a black one, completely black lipstick shade at all, or especially this green shade or this purple. So these are unique in my collection. So I's just going to keep these because of the colors. So right here is by Half Magic Beauty. It's my only Half Magic product. So there's like a, a lip cream. It's the shade Magic Brownie. And I think this shade is unique. It's, I mean, from what I'm keeping... It's just a brownish shade. Yeah, so it's comfortable to wear. I like it. So I'm going to keep this for sure. This is pretty new in my collection. I've used it once, but it's like a nice peachy shade. It's by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's in a shade Warm Peach. So I don't have a shade like this. I don't think I do. So I'm going to keep it. I think the form is fine. It's good. It's comfortable. So I got a Natasha Denona lipstick right here. It's in a shade, I believe, Daphne? Yeah, it's in the shade Daphne. So it's like a pinky shade. I think, I don't think I like the form of this. I think it's fine, but it's not worth the price, honestly. So I won't recommend these. I want to try out more from her, but I don't like the formula with these. I think, I think there's better lipsticks out there. That's what I'm saying. So I'm just going to declutter this. I got some lipsticks, bomb thingies. It's from KVD Beauty. I got the shade Female Gaze and Lolita. So I think the formula to these are fine. They're fine. So I, I do plan on keeping these. Plus I love the packaging. I think they're nice. Yeah, they're nice. This is like a bed shade. The other shade is more of a... What was it? It's like a dark reddish shade. So I wish I had more shades, like different shades. But yeah, I do plan on keeping these. But I pulled out all the lippies from that lip organizer. So we're going to go through all of them. So I try to organize it by brand so it could be easier, but let's go through it. So I wanted to clutter a lot of these. So 
first up i got some hall's laboratory lip glosses so i think these are pretty but they're kind of sticky in formula these are before the house labs rebranded love the packaging love the colors but i just don't like the formula so i'm just gonna declutter these i have some draw cosmetics lip products so these are lip glosses and they look like they're getting old i i don't think the formula is that great i'm just gonna declutter these and i have some matte lip paints or matte liquid lipstick i guess i'm not a huge liquid lipstick formula it's really hard to find the right one so that's why my favorite are the at early cosmetics because they're so comfortable but yeah those are like the satin formula though but these i think they're fine they're really unique shades i'm just gonna decard them i just don't reach for them i also got some beauty beauties demi matte liquid lipsticks and man these i don't think she sells them anymore i think they're discontinued but i only kept them for the colors and because it's cute beauty especially this purple one i love the purple shade but these are so messy even with the lip liner they always somehow go over my lip liners and they're pretty long too but i'm just gonna declutter these these are really old i got some very old ColourPop luxe lip glosses oh these are comfortable but uh they're not long lasting so they're like totally old so i'm definitely decluttering them <laughs> i have a bunch of contents lipsticks here i have a bunch of them i think i have like maybe one two three four five six seven eight nine I have like nine or ten some are like most of them are just lipsticks and i think one lip balm but they're like nice colors nothing's wrong with them i'm just not reaching for them i have so many different shades i'll show you guys eight i got this through ipsy i've always wanted to try it when i first started with ipsy nothing anything's wrong with them they're just fine simple lipsticks a lot of these shades they look similar but they're all different this one got messed up Ooh, that one got really messed up. <laughs> this one's a nice peach pink color. I mean, they're nice, but I'm just trying to declutter ones I don't reach for. I think I just poked that one. <laughs> yeah. So, I think I, think I have a, one lip balm in here. I think this one. I think the lip balm's fine, but I just don't use it. It's okay. It's not the best. So, one's a lip balm. The rest are lipsticks. They're taking too much space in my drawer so i'm just gonna declutter these i'm showing you a lot of what i'm decluttering now but right here are some real hard lip lip formulas so this one i'm not sure what it is it's a liquid lipstick see i don't like lip liquid lipsticks and plus i don't like the shade i got this in a sale through ipsy it's just it's very uh nude pink i think it's very drying i don't like it this one it's a lipstick it's kind of drying too. This one's very nude. I don't like super nude lipsticks. I got this, I think together has a duo. So I'm gonna declutter those too. So I'm also showing you some more old lippies. So I got these about three years ago when I first really got into makeup. So yeah, they're really nice. They're comfortable. They're like, uh, they call, they're from Galactic. And they're, what are they? Lip paints. Like they're liquid lipsticks. I think they're comfortable to wear. I love the colors. They're like simple, comfortable. So I'm kind of, I'm gonna miss these because I love the colors, but they're really old. They only have six months shelf life and I kept them for three years. So I'm gonna have to declutter these. And I'm gonna be keeping these too. These are from About Face Beauty and they're like lip balm glosses. They're really comfortable to wear. This is a unique shade. Actually, it's really more on the sheer side. It does, it's not really that opaque, but they're really nice light lip glosses. So I'm gonna keep these plus the packaging is very beautiful. <laughs> I forgot to mention, um, I left one Galactic soft paint, but look at it, it is getting old, so I have to throw them away. I think it's getting mold, so yeah, they're super old. This one's a Galactic lip gloss. It's like has some rose petals, but I'm just going to declare it. Yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, it's kind of sticky, but yeah, I'm just going to declare them because I'm not using them, especially this one, super old. These KVD Beauty lip glosses, they're really sheer, but they're comfortable to wear. They're not long lasting, so I won't recommend it to you guys, but I'm going to keep these because I enjoy the formula. I was just going to show you guys these color lip balms from Milani Cosmetics. So this one, I think my youngest got to it, so I'm going to throw this away. It's like, it gives a wash of color, like a hint of color. It's not that opaque. They're comfortable to wear, but I'm going to have to throw this away. So this one, he always gets to, likes the color red. This one, he did poke at it. I did use this one some bit too just to give me a wash of color it's like a nice orangey shade like very wearable 
but I'm gonna declutter this because <laughs> it's so poked on, you know. When it comes to my Milani lipsticks though, I love them, they're comfortable to wear. I don't have a lot of lipsticks that I'm keeping, but I am keeping these. So they're just very, they're drugstore. It's almost like a satin finish, but I like the wearable colors I have, especially this one. This is in the shade Secret. It's like a pinky shade. I love this one. It's like a pinky nude. Oh, perfect. I just love them. They're really nice for a drugstore. I'm going to be decluttering. So I have, I never liked the formula when I first got them. When I tried them out, I just held on to them because of the colors. So these are by NYX Cosmetics. Is that this is this is milky glosses, different shades, but they are, they're not comfortable to wear. And they have like an awful taste them too. They have an awful taste to them too, so I don't like that. And I'm also decluttering this. I don't like the tense butter glosses. They're supposed to be more opaque, so I prefer the regular ones. I'm going to show you guys some regular ones in a bit, but I'm going to declutter these four. So I got four NYX Cosmetics regular butter glosses. So I know these two I'm going to keep for sure, and I think this one. The red one I just don't use often, but I think I'm going to just keep it for the color for now. I like the formula for it being drugstore. I think they're comfortable to wear. Like, kind of. Kind of. They're not like, they're a little bit sticky. But they're nice for being drugstore. So I'm just going to keep these. Okay, let me show you guys some NARS cosmetic lippies. I think I have more. Okay, hopefully these are the only ones. But this one's like a, it's a mini size. It's a red shade. It's a matte lips, liquid lipstick. It's in the shade Star Woman. Sorry, you guys can't see. But this one's like super pigmented. It's a little bit drying. So I'm not sure if it's still good. <laughs> so let me do a little swatch. Wow, look at that's super, super opaque. I should probably keep it because I don't have a lot of red lippies. So I think I might just keep this. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys seen that, but I dropped some. I think I dropped some right there or it leaked. It leaked right here. Let me just clean that up real quick. This left a stain on my desk. A little stain right there. <laughs> I'm just going to declutter this after all the red one. But for the lipstick though, I really love the lipstick formula. I think I have two different formulas. I'm not sure what they are. Let me see. Oh yeah, they're the same formula. So let me see. I think it's this shade. Is it this shade? Oh, this shade's fine. To lady. To lady. It's a nice, it's a nice wearable shade. Oh, it's a pinky shade. It's a pinky shade. But the other shade I really, really love. I'll show you guys right now. This shade, it's in the shade Chelsea Girls. Oh, this one's like a little bit more balmy. I'm not sure why. Yeah, it's like more balmy. You guys could tell. See, it gives a little shine. So I'm not sure. Maybe there are two different formulas, but I love this one. So I'm going to keep these two. Oh, I just grabbed some that I know I'm going to declutter. So I'm going to declutter all of these. So, you know, they're, I'm going to declutter them because the formula is either sticky or drying. So a lot of these are glosses. So this is from Half Cake Beauty. It looks pretty. It's sticky. I'm going to declutter this. This one I used to love a lot too. It's by Belle R. and Gent. It's a nice color, but I just don't reach for it anymore. So I'm going to declutter this. This one's from Real Her, so I did have another Real Her product. I just don't like the brand, I guess, so I'm going to declutter this. And this is super old in my collection. I only kept it for the color, but I think it's time to throw this one out because it's looking yucky. And plus, I just don't like lip liquid lipsticks. This one's really drying, so yeah, I'm going to declutter this. This one's from Farrah Beauty. It's another liquid lipstick. This is also drying, so I'm going to declutter this. This is by Lolly London. I I think this one's okay. I just, I'm just not reaching for it. And then this one is from Sess Moy. I kept it for the color of it, but I don't like the formula. It's a little bit too sticky. I use it as a topper gloss. So I'm just going to declutter what I just showed you guys. So I just grabbed some more that I'm going to declutter. I'm going to declutter all of these because of the formula. I just don't like the formula or it's either sticky or it's old. So this one's sticky. This is by Two Tube. Rena Beauty. I think this one was sticky as well. I just remember I don't like the formula of this one. So 
this one's pretty old in my collection so that's the reason why i'm decluttering it it's comfortable wear it's like a lip cream it's from sugar brush it's the sister brand to tart but i'm gonna declutter this because it's old this one is by zueva just not reaching for it i don't think i like the formula so i'm gonna declutter this as well this one's from hola neon cosmetics trust fun beauty and a bow face the bow face i think this one got really old it's kind of old too but the color was really, really unique it's like a grayish mauve shade but i think it's, it has gone bad on this one so i'm gonna declutter this as well these are from casual beauty and they're the uh, hard lipsticks i think the formula to these they're really nice they're kind of thick like they're creamy and they're really thick they're really comfortable wear let me see if I can do a swatch. They're really pigmented. Look at that. Really pigmented. I forgot how long these last, but they are on the thick side. So I really liked them when I first got them. They felt really nice and comfortable to wear. Like, they felt so velvety, but they're just on the thick side. Just grabbed some more. I wanted to clutter. So this one is by Artist Culture. It's a pretty lip gloss. I just don't remember the formula of it, but I'm not reaching for it, so I'm going to declutter this. This one's from bare metals this one's really yummy i just tried it on just to remind myself but this one's really yummy but it's a little bit sticky you can feel something on your lips the peel oh this one's horrible i don't like like a lipstick this one's a horrible formula this one i don't remember what this brand was this one is in the shade saint tropez i just forgot the brand but it's getting old, so I'm going to decolor this. And this one's by Rowan Beauty. It's the shade Charlie. I did love this formula. It's really minty. It's comfortable wear. It's like a nice glossy lip. But this one's getting old on me, so I'm going to declutter these as well. So, I have some Anastasia Beverly Hill lip glosses. I don't think I'm going to keep all of them. I'm just going to keep the shades I like. I think some are in different formula. Yeah, this is a liquid lipstick formula. I just don't like keeping like a lipstick, I guess. So I'm going to declutter this one. This one's in the shade Bittersweet. This is also a liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Poet. I kind of want to keep it for the color, honestly. So I think I might keep it just for the color. Well, these are all minis right here. But I think these are all lip glosses. So this is in the shade Crush. It's just a nude gloss. I don't think I need any more nude glosses. So I think I'm going to declutter these two. This is a toffee and toffee and crush. I think the formula is fine. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone, but I think the formula is fine. I'm just gonna declutter these two. These two, I think honestly, the only one I want to keep is this shade. This shade is in a sh it's moon jelly. It's just like an opalescent lip gloss. Really pretty. This one is it's kind of similar to, but it's more. This one is in a shade. St. Tropez. Kind of similar, but I'm just going to keep this one. These are from Il Maquillage. They're just lipsticks. I think the formula's fine. I'm just not reaching for it. Plus, I don't like the bulky packaging. This is a nice red shade. I'm going to declutter this one. And um, the handle of it, it's magnetic. This one is a nice shade. This one's in a shade. This is in a shade Alba. It's really pretty, but... I just don't like bulky packaging. I think form is fine. I'm just not breaching room. So I'm going to declutter these as well. Olden Eyes Lippies. So these are lipsticks from Olden's Eyes. in the brand. I think the form is fine. I like it. I haven't used it in a while. But I think they're nice. They kind of remind me. Um, similar to Milani I guess. I would say. Similar. A little bit. So I'm going to keep them. Because I love the packaging. But I'm going to try to use these more. And this other item I showed you guys just a bit. This is actually a lip stain. So, yeah, it's kind of bulky. It's in the shade Miss Canna. I haven't used it in a while, but it kind of gives like a little sticky texture. Yeah, it's kind of sticky. It's supposed to be a lip stain. Or you could wear it as a gloss, of course. I don't think I like the formula of this, so I might have to declutter this, sadly. Something similar to the old inside, but I think this one's better. This is from, I think, Ink Velvet. And it's in the shade number one. It's a Korean brand. I got this through, I forgot who, I think Starvana. This one's a little better. Oh, this one's more of a matte formula. 
but you could use it as a stain but it's really nice so i think i want to keep this i have to use this more i completely forgot to show you guys the lipsticks the anastasia lipsticks <laughs> earlier but this one it's in a it's a nudie shade i think i just showed you guys this one unless i got another one but this one's in the shade butter scotch yeah this is a different shade forgot the other shade but this is a different one i'm gonna declutter this because it's too nude for my liking and then I got two other like mini lipsticks. One, this one is Dead Roses. I do use this one, so I'm gonna keep this one. It's like a purplish shade, like a deep purple kind of shade. And this one is in a shade, oh, this one's really shimmery. I have not used this one. A chrome brown, so I think that's why. I don't think I'm gonna use this one, so I'm gonna declutter this one. Three lipsticks from MAC Cosmetics. I do love the formula, but let me show you guys the colors that I got. This one, this one's in the shade Whirl. It's like a brownish shade. I'm gonna keep this one. This one is in the shade Flat Out Fabulous. It's like a magenta pink shade. I'm gonna keep this too. Sweet, Sweet Sakura. It's like a red shade, a little bit sheer. Like a little bit sheer. It's not so bold red. It's like a wearable red. It's like a balmy. This one I'm not sure if I'll keep. I think I'm going to declutter this one. I got some Kylie Cosmetics lipsticks. Flirtini. It's like a pinky shade. I like the shade of it. I think the formula is fine. It's just a regular lipstick. I think I'll probably keep this. Hopefully I can use it. This one is in the shade Douce. It's kind of nude on light side but at least it's wearable for me so i think i'm gonna keep these I'll, I'll put these in a maybe pile i think carmella yeah it's from carmella cosmetics i think the form was fine i think the form was fine it's not like hydrating i think it's kind of drying the shade is a little bit nude i do love nude shades but um, i know i'm not gonna reach for this one so i'm gonna declutter this all right, so another item I want to declutter is the House Lab lipstick. This is before they rebranded. It. It's like a shimmery red shade. <laughs> I just, I know, I don't use a lot of red, so I'm just going to declutter this. It has a magnetic closure. So I got this much left before we go to the lip pencils and the lip balm stuff. So let me just go through this. So this one I'm going to keep. This is by Lawless. It's a forget to filter lip gloss. I think it's comfortable. Or it's supposed to be plumping, but I don't think it's plumping. This is from Milani Cosmetics, and this one is a nourishing lip plumper. The color is kind of unique. It gives like a, it's like a pinky grayish color. It's kind of light. I think the form is okay, but I'm going to keep it for now. I think four Ofra Cosmetics products. So I don't keep the liquid lipsticks, but I think I do enjoy the formula to the Ofra liquid lipsticks. So hopefully I use these. And I love the gloss formula from Ofra. I'm going to keep this one as well. And this one's a mini. I'm not sure where. I forgot how I got the mini one, but I'm gonna keep all of these. This one I'm hoping I can use. I love the formula. It's like a Korean brand. It's by Touch and Soul, I believe. I believe it's Touch and Soul. It's the Pretty Filter Soul Velvet Lipstick. It's like a pretty pink shade. I love this shade and I need to use it more. Let me um just do the swatch right there. Oh my gosh. It's like a pinky reddish shade and it gives like a nice cloudy effect. I need to use this shade. It's so pretty. Then we've got a Patrick Tall lip gloss. Of course, I'm going to keep this. No question ask. It's nice. Major Glow Lip Shine. It's like a beautiful gold gloss. So pretty. The Dupe Lab Kitter looks like this. Oops, I got a little hair little swatch right here. I think this one might be a little bit sticky, but I'm just going to keep it. I have to try it out. It feels sticky on my palm. But I think it's pretty. So I'm going to keep this. Her, a Persona Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. I think her glosses are better. I decluttered the glosses from earlier. But this one's a little bit drying for me. I guess I just I keep mentioning I don't like liquid lipsticks. I know I kept the Ofra ones, but I think those are comfortable. But this one, I just prefer their glosses. But yeah, I'm going to declutter this. When I started organizing everything, and then when I found this, I was like so happy. I'm like, oh my gosh, I completely forgot about this. So this is from Alamar Cosmetics. It's in a lip gloss in the shade Birthday Suit. Love this gloss. 
It's so yummy. It smells like vanilla. Oh my gosh. I need to put this on my lips. Let's do a swatch. This one, I think it's a little bit sticky. So I won't recommend this if you don't like gloss, but it has like shimmery pinks. Isn't that pretty? You see a little bit purple. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this for the color. I'm gonna start using this. This one is a little bit sticky. This one is by Minted Cosmetics, I think. They're discontinued brand. I don't remember, but this is in the shade Peachy Keen. This is in the shade Peachy Keen, and the formula is really nice. So I'm gonna keep this. So I think from the rest, I'm decluttering these three. So this is the Draw Cosmetic Lipsticks. Actually, I might keep this. It's like a very cool tone brown. Actually, no, I don't need it because I have a cool tone brown for my merit. So I'm going to declutter this. This one is by Love Crap Pretty. It's just a nice, pretty lip gloss, but it is sticky. I only use it has a topper gloss, but I'm going to declutter this. And it's uh, by Lauren Conrad. It's a lipstick. It smells like lipstick. I don't think nothing's wrong with it, but I just don't want to keep this. The, I forgot to mention the Merit lipsticks, they kind of smell like lipsticks too, but I just love the formos of the Merit ones. This is a lot, but I'm going to keep these. So this is from Bite Beauty. It's just a pinkish uh, lipstick. It's like a purplish pinkish lipstick. I'm going to keep it. And of course, the Pomegranate lip gloss. I forgot about this one. This one is in a shade Divine Rose. So I got this with the lip pencil. So of course, I'm going to keep this. And then a Beauty Booty Silk Balm. I think these are nice. This is a mini. And this one, I don't find myself declaring this. Love the color. The form is really nice from Stella Beauty. It's a, I believe, a liquid lipstick. But I love the color of it. So I'm going to keep this. And this one, I got to tell you, I don't like the formula. <laughs> but it's my only Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss. I'm going to keep it to try it out. But this is super intense. Like, oh my gosh. It really, I think it does really help with plumping the lips but it's super super intense at least for me but i'm gonna keep it for now try it out a few times all right guys so these are the last of what i have to go through through my lip collection so i have some lip pencils and the lip balms and the gloss or lip balms or lip oil so i think we're gonna go through this first all right <laughs> so these are always on my makeup bag. These are the Lunar Beauty Lip Oils. They're kind of perfumey in taste, but they give it like a nice glossy look to your lips. I always put the, these on before I put on my makeup just to keep my lips hydrated and also to prevent makeup getting on my lips. I'm almost done with them too, so I use them a lot. I'm about to finish both of them, especially this one. So just like with the lip gloss, I love their formula, so I need to get more from Lunar Beauty. These are pretty new in my collection. I think I'm going to try to use these for a little bit more, but I think I'm going to end up declaring these later on. They're from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. They're lip oil. They're sticky for me. Are they hydrating? I don't think they're really hydrating. They just give a glossy look to your lips. But after they wore off, my lips look a little bit like, I guess, like a natural glossy look uh, it's hard to explain but i wouldn't recommend these to my friends so i'm gonna just keep these for now but i do find myself decluttering these later on right here is a tar cosmetic hdo balm it's like a lipstick it's a very cool tone shade so i like using like lip balm sticks more like to give me a hint of color but this is too cool tone and I have some cool tone lip pencils in my collection, so I don't really need this. I wanted to clutter this right here. This one's pretty new in my collection. I think I got this last month, but it's from Unfiltered Beauty. I kind of enjoy it. It's just a lip oil, so I'm going to keep this. I have to dig for the other one, but these are from Cab Cosmetics. So these are very, like, thick lip oils. They do hydrate and they give a glossy look to your lips, but they're, like, really thick. So I think they're okay. And they also have like a taste to them like Agua Fresca. It's like a lime, Agua Fresca, then lime and the lemon. So they have taste to them. So they're nice for the taste, but they're really thick. So that's the thing I don't like about them. But I'm almost done with them. So I'm going to keep them till I finish them up. I completely forgot about these, but these are my, my favorite lip oils. Besides the Lunar Beauty ones. I love the Lunar Beauty one, but these are really, really nice. These one have a better taste to them. They're like a very 
almondy or nutty taste, but oh, they're so comfortable. It's thin. I love these. So I also love putting this on before I put on my makeup as well, but I need to put this in my makeup bag because I forgot about these. So I'm going to be keeping these. So I know I'm keeping a lot from here, but it's because I had done a declutter on my lip products a few months ago on my own time. But I'm going to try to declutter what I can from here. So right here, it's from Artist Culture. I do enjoy this lip oil, but I haven't been using it. So I don't know what to do with this. I might have to declutter this because I'm not using it, but I think it is nice. The Dufa applicator, it's really thick, so it takes me a while to pull out. <laughs> but it's really nice. It's really nice, lip oil. The taste of it is really good too. So I don't know. I'll put this in a maybe pile and see. I just used yesterday because I found it, but this is from Full Ritual, and it's a it's like a tinted lip balm. It gives a wash of color. I think it's nice. The smell of it, the taste of it, it's very fruity and strong. So I think it's nice, but I don't find myself using this like often. So I'm going to declutter this. These two are kind of new in my collection. I think I got these two months ago through a subscription box, but I do enjoy these. These are from Luna Magic. It's their hydrating lip balm. So they're very flavorful. One's cherry, one's mango. So it's just the only thing. I don't like the applicator when it comes to this. You have to squeeze it out. <laughs> I just like it easier. Uh, I just love easy applications, but these are nice. So these just, these do hydrate my lips. They're just um, good replacements for chapsticks, I would say. So I'm going to be keeping these. This one by Belle Argent. And it, this is a tinted lip balm. I think the balm is fine, but I'm not reaching for this one. So I'm just going to declutter this. This one's from Galactic Beauty. And this is like a jelly balm. It's very squishy. Oh, I just squeezed it. Oh, I supposed to twist it from here. I completely forgot. But I do use this one. It gives a really glossy look to your lips. Hydrates your lips. It's just very squishy. So I do plan on keeping this one. These, I completely forgot because of the packaging. Because they're kind of reminding me of lip balm. But these are actually lip glosses. These are from Kiko Milano. And these were gifted to me. Um, from my sister-in-law. And they're really nice. So I have to use them because I think the form is really nice. It's really nice. I'm not sure if I would recommend it to my friends or you guys, but I'm going to keep these. Especially this color. It's really unique <laughs> in my collection. So, yeah. They're just staying here because of the packaging. Okay, so these lip oils, they give a glossy. They look like glosses. Oh, they got a bit dirty. But, yeah. I love these so much, but I'm not reaching for them. So, I'm just going to declutter these. But I do like these. They're, they're like a hybrid between a lip oil and a lip gloss. Really comfortable to wear. They give a shimmery look to your lips or, you know, like gloss look. But they're really nice. I'm just going to declutter them because I'm not using them anymore. Okay, my camera just died. So I just did some decluttering on my own. So I, the ones I haven't shown you guys are these. But the ones I'm keeping so far are these. So these, I had to go through them. So this is a, this is a paranormal lip balm. Nothing's wrong with it. I just don't use it. So I'm just going to declutter this. This is a Glow Recipe Lip Balm Watermelon. It's a watermelon taste, so of course I'm going to keep it. Is it hydrating? Not really. It just gives a... It's just a lip balm, basically. But I'm going to keep it. I want to use this up. I still have a lot left, but I'm going to keep it. And then I got some incredible... Uh, these Crystal Ball Glosses. They're really nice. They're very, very lightweight. Not sticky at all. It's just... Almost feels like a lip serum. I don't use them a lot, but I try to. It takes a while for them to go down, but I just love it because they're so different. So I'm just gonna put. I'm gonna keep these. This one, I think I'm gonna hold on in, onto this a little longer. It's a Persona lip balm, but it's a red shade though. So it just adds like a hint of red. It's kind of pigmented for a lip balm actually, but I'm gonna keep it for now. Might find myself declaring this later. And then right here, I just tried this on earlier. It's a Huey Beauty. It's a like a diamond balm. It's pretty hydrating. It adds like a little bit glitter, not too much. It's like very wearable. So this is on my lips. It looks a little bit grayish. So it just adds a little bit. <laughs> I had to delete some videos real quick because of my memory. But yeah, I'm going to keep this because this is discontinued. So I can't get this anymore. And it's magnetic as well. 
So basically these are all the lip balms, lip oils, and just the three lip glosses in here that I'm keeping. So it's still pretty full. It's because I had done a declutter a few months ago. I got rid of a lot. So I only got rid of a little bit from here. I already went through all the lip liners. I had to declutter some lip liners too. And the only two I'm going to declutter are these two. The Dragon Beauty Lip Liner. It's really dry. I only kept it for the color. So I'm just going to declutter this. And then the Satan Lux Lip Liner. This is a... Their older formula is uh, drier. I have two other ones, I think, that are improved formula. These are the lip liners I have. I have Thrive Cosmetics, a Pat McGrath lip liner. I only have one. This is the Mini Divine Rose. A Persona lip liner. It's super pigmented. I only keep this, the Zoeva one. It's like a lip crayon. I only keep it for the color. It's like a cool toned brown. My favorite, I think I have another one. It might be my makeup bag, but my favorite lip liners are actually the Draw Cosmetic lip liners. They're just pigmented and they last a long time on my lips. And these other two lip liners are probably my second favorite. These are more cosmetic lip liners, signature lip liners. They're really nice too. Lightweight. I wouldn't put this all over my lips. It is a little bit dry in these, but these are nice. I have one more left of the Dominique Cosmetic lip liner. It's in shade Brown Sugar. It's like a very brown shade. I had to finish two of these lip liners but in a different shade it, it was like a pinky shade i finished two in my in my lifetime you know <laughs> and then the other ones i'm just keeping mainly for the colors i also have some oh actually this is a hoss labs the hoss lab i could probably declutter but i'm just gonna keep it for the color but i have a few nyx lip liners i think these might be the only two but these are kind of dry but they're really cheap i'm just gonna keep them for the color as well i just declutter two but yeah, I still need lip liners so I could use them with my lippies. I still have these maybes. I think I'm still going to keep this, honestly. The Artist Culture Lip Oil. It's a good one, so. This, the Kylie Jenner, Kylie Jenner lipsticks. I'm going to hold on to it until I organize it, but this one, I'm... I don't know. I'm, I know I'm not going to use this, so I think I'm going to just declutter this one. I think it's nice to color, but I just don't like the taste of it, so I'm going to declutter this. All right, here's the difference between what I'm keeping and what I'm decluttering. So I know I'm still keeping a lot, but at least I am decluttering like quite a bit, a lot more than I did last time on my own time. So I've hold on to some of these products too long. And yeah. I'm just going to organize everything and I'm going to show you guys how it looks. So I think I'm going to use up more than just the lip organizers. I'm trying to minimize my space for lip space. So we'll see how it turns out. Guys, so I finally decided after organizing everything, I'm just going to declutter these. They have a weird like scent to them anyways. I just was wondering because of the colors. Yeah, I'm just going to declutter these. I don't need them. Okay, so surprisingly guys, I was able to fit almost everything in here. The only ones I didn't put in there is the one that can't really go in there. But yeah, I actually have a lot more room for other lippies. The only thing I don't like about this lip organizer is that it's a little bit difficult to see. I mean, I can see from the top, but it's just that I have to search the specific shade for the ones I want to get. Here I have the MAC, the By Beauty. These are the NARS, Milani, Touch and Soul, Old and Sai, M Cosmetics. That one is, is the Rare Beauty uh, Lip Cream, Anastasia, Merit, and then just a lot of random ones that are singles. My Mora Cosmetic Lip Balms, Fenty Beauty, Rare Beauty Glossy Balm, the Mini One, Old Frog Mini Gloss, and my, I ended up putting my Unearthly right here. Since I have room now, because I'm trying to get rid of this actually. So that's why I'm pushing myself to declutter because I want to get rid of this acrylic organizer because it's just, I just want to simplify the stuff in my room. That's why. Right here is the NYX. Right here is uh, the Lawless Beauty. Right here is oh, the Alamar Cosmetics. Hopefully, I start using it now that I found it again. And then over here is the Electrum Cosmetics, the special multi-chrome glosses, my Tower 28, Patrick Ta. Right here is all oh, my Lights Liqueur glosses, my favorite glosses. I need to put a space from the one I have in my car. Hopefully it's in my car. I haven't checked yet. About Face, Beauty, Essence, the Terra Moons, Pat McGrath, Ofra, uh, I think they're liquid lipsticks. 
Minted Cosmetic, and right here is KBD Beauty, I believe, or is it Mora? No, these are my Mora Cosmetics Lip Creams. Right there is Rare Beauty, KBD Beauty. This one is, this one's the Too Faced one. And right here in the back, let me see, what's this one? That's the Milani. Right here is the Buxom, and right there, the last three are the Long Liquid Lipsticks from an Early Cosmetics from the Halloween box, but... Oh, I have to show you one little spot. I, there's some lippies that I can't really fit in here because the size and the way they are. Let me show you where I placed them. I placed them on the top drawer right here along with my where my liquid blushes are and my bronzer. Well, the big bronzer and my highlighter, liquid highlighters. Here, here's the other lipsticks right here on this side because I'm trying to get rid of the acrylic organizer. So just the meaty ones I can't really fit. Like the pomegranate lipstick, the Anastasia lipstick, the tiny ones. And then the, the Tarte Maracuja Lip Balm. I know I have two of the same shades, but I gotta use them. Mini liquid lipstick. And then my NARS Velvet Lip Pencils. I love these. The, the KVD Beauty Lipstick Stings. <laughs> And then the few, this one can't really, that one can't fit at all. So yeah, I have to place it right here. The half music, half music, half magic lip cream. And this ink velvet lip tinting. And then the last item right here, the about face beauty, the lip, like super pigmented lip cream thing. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything. Um, all my lippies, so. The ones I decluttered are over here, so many. So I think I did a great job, honestly. Okay, so that's gonna be it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this lippy declutter. I know it's another long video, I'm so sorry. I have a lot to go through. I could probably simplify things if I just, ah, just, I mean, I try to do it. I try to grab as many as I can to declutter at the same time. So I tried doing that a few times, but I had a lot of lippies. So I don't know how many I had, but I'll try to count it. For my thumbnail, I probably have over 100 for sure. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy this declutter. Let me know how I did. <laughs> How's your lippy, your lip collections? Like, I know lippies, when it comes to lip products, I really love my lip products. So that's why I need the options, you know? I know I have a quite a bit, but at least I love these lip products. I'm gonna try to use them as much as I can. And I'll probably do another declutter later on this year, of course just to see how often I'm using these products up and everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and be on the lookout for my other declutter videos and check out my previous declutter videos because I've done already two other ones, face palettes and the bronzer blushes highlighters. So the next one I'm gonna do is probably gonna be the foundation concealer powders and all the little stuff, but the palette one, I'm gonna do it last because I know that video is gonna be really long. I have a lot, a lot to go through. I don't know how many, but we'll see you guys. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video.